Hey, what's up guys? I uh, just wanted to do a video to show how I use Audacity to um, edit my output wave uh, so that it's the exact same length as the V111 wave. It's super easy with Audacity. I've seen people have trouble with other DAWs uh, where it's like off by one sample or like if it on Reaper when you're exporting, you have like a tail on your uh, export. Uh, so this will save, hopefully save some uh, hassle. I'm on Ableton here and uh, I've set up the uh, sample editor to be Audacity. So if you're on Ableton, I'll just show you this real quick. You just go to the sample editor, it's under the file folder and you just set it to Audacity. You just, you know, browse to uh, wherever Audacity is. It should be program files, you know, Audacity. All right, so once you have that set up, you just click on, you find your output wave, which is right here. And you can see this is like, I uh, walked away from the computer and let it run too long and I had some extra audio here, but it's super easy to fix that. You just select the sample and hit edit. Or if you're on an, if you're on another DAW, just, uh, you know, export your output wave and then drop it in Audacity. All right, so here we go. So I've got the output wave here and, uh, little trick i don't know if this works with other daws but it works with uh, ableton i would then take my v111 and i drag and drop that here so now i've got both of these files in audacity now if you just grab onto the uh, edge of your output wave and you drag it uh, you, you know you put your mouse you get the little double arrow guy you just drag it here eventually you'll see a little line and it'll kind of lock in right there once you see that line you know that you're at the exact same length so you're good to go. You can actually delete the V111 now. Uh, so that's gone. And then I go to, because Ableton records everything in stereo for whatever reason, I go up here and I click to split stereo to mono so I can get rid of one of these guys. Now I've got my output wave that's the exact same size as uh, the V111. Uh, so before I export this, I'm actually going to uh, normalize it. So I'll normalize. Um, I'm going pretty loud here, like as loud as I can before I clip, basically. Uh, so I'll normalize it, and then I will export it. When I export, I just make sure that I'm set to 24-bit PCM, and I'm going to export it into whatever folder I'm going to tell uh, Nam to look for this file, obviously. Um, something else, I think this works on all versions of Nom Trainer now. You can actually name it. You don't have to name it output.wave. You can actually name it whatever you want the Nom file to be called. So for instance, the, I, I have one here, uh, this SNK VH300, that's the name of the head. And then I'm doing base, middle, treble, presence, resonance, gain, and then my initials. Uh, so I'm just gonna overwrite this guy because uh, it's the same file. Um, so I just hit save and overwrite. And that's 24 bit. It's exactly what the trainer wants and it's the exact same length. So now I'm gonna start my uh, conda activate, oop, activate name, nam, 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 whatever. And I'll go here. I'll grab my V111, which I keep mine in its own little folder just because I'm using a custom uh, V111 and I labeled the folder. Um, all right, so then my output wave is gonna be in that folder that I just saved to from Audacity. Um, what the fuck is the name of it? B no, there it is, SNK. All right, so I'll select that. And then train destination, I just open back up and select the, the same folder that I just grabbed my output wave file. And uh, I'll do a silent run because uh, I, don't, I don't like to have to wait and click on things. Uh, it's just what I like. Let's do some advanced options. Let's do a thousand. Because remember, you can always hit Control C to stop it once you uh, once you've got the ESR score that you like. All right, and then we'll just hit Train, and you can see the system picks it up, and it likes it. So here we go. I think as I clicked on it, it didn't. <laughs> show this part. I was scared for a second there. But yeah, so this is running. And uh, by the way, uh, I guess just a little extra tip at the end of the video here. Um, I want to show you how I look at, I'm, I'm sure there's a nerdier and better way to do this, but this is just how I uh, view my progress. Here, I'm going to make that smaller one. Here we go. So when I want to look at how I'm doing, 
I just go into the actual folder itself where I'm doing my training and there's this folder lightning logs click on that I'm doing a second version here so it's version one technically and then checkpoints and then here is where you can see the ESR score and which epoch or ep uh, epic you're on so you can see I'm on epic 11 12 whatever and my ESR is already very nice at uh, point zero point zero seven so this will run and uh, I will have my model when I'm done training my model if you didn't know this I guess uh, third bonus step right or whatever trick you can hit uh, control C so Let's say that I'm watching this and the ESR is down to like a, a number that I really like and I don't need to continue training up to a thousand. I can just click on the Anaconda GUI and hit uh, control C, like as in, as in copy, control C. That'll stop Anaconda and it will spit out a NAM. Like it'll, it'll spit out the NAM file. We'll just go back up to the top here. Here we are. So. It's, you know, obviously this one's not very good because I didn't let it run long enough. But just so you know, that's another thing you can do. All right, cool. Uh, I'm just going to title this video for the first thing I tried to show you. The rest of this is just bullshit. All right. I'll have uh, some more videos coming soon, hopefully. I'm going to try to do one about reamping and uh, some other stuff. But yeah, I hope this helped. Because, uh, you know, Audacity's free and everyone can use it. And it's an easy way. That little orange line thing that I showed you, that is like, you know, perfectly perfect like in it works every time and you know it's easy enough for me uh to just drag and drop from ableton so if you use ableton maybe you could do it that way too Alrighty, take it easy guys see ya